Hi everybody, I'm Pat Pobletti with WISPolitics.com and this is the DC Rap interview series. And joining me today is U.S. Representative Mark Pocan from Wisconsin's 2nd Congressional District. Congressman, thank you very much for joining me today. Oh, very glad to be here. Thank you. I wanted to start with news in Washington seems to really be dominated, particularly on the House side recently, by the response to the coronavirus pandemic. Just last week, we saw the House pass a bill to respond to that pandemic. I wanted to get your thoughts on what was in that bill and kind of how you see it moving forward through the lawmaking process. Sure. Well, I think, you know, the biggest problem that we've been encountering is the Senate Republicans have been, you know, refusing to really sit down and negotiate a bill. And we know uh, there's great need out there from our local and state governments who are providing many of the direct services to people the small businesses trying to keep people employed, to uh, uh, the frontline workers and essential workers who need uh, protections under OSHA uh, to make sure that they don't get sick and their families don't get sick. There's so much that has to happen. And since the Senate wasn't moving very fast, uh, we put a bill out as a marker for House Democrats uh, that does many of those things. Uh, it's a free trillion dollar bill, but that is where the, the size of the need is that's out there. And we're just hoping that the Senate... Um, will act quickly uh, in trying to come up with whatever their position may be because, uh, you know, they've been uh, going back to trying to confirm conservative justices. But what we need to get done um, is really getting this package out and getting it uh, into the local governments and the state governments and everyone else who's providing the services. How do you see this bill moving forward? Is this something where the Senate passes something separate but similar and you guys can come together to find a compromise? Or is it, you know, starting from scratch, negotiating with Senate Republicans on a brand new package? How do you see that moving forward? Well, I assume they'll come up with something that's closer to what they want. Um, they might sit down with us and just negotiate like we had did on the previous bill. Um, but what my, my fear is that they take too long. You know, for many people in Wisconsin who got the PPP loans as small businesses, this is week six of those loans. There's two more weeks left. And rather than put people back onto uh, the unemployment rolls, uh, we need to be able to act. And uh, they're um, seeming to not have the same urgency that we are doesn't make any sense. And I think as you know, time goes on, they'll get more urgency from their constituents. But, again, it's just very unfortunate that this is something that should be so nonpartisan, you know, we might have some different approaches to things, but at the end of the day, the one thing that should be in common is urgency to act. So whether they pass their own bill, whether this brings them to the table, we have to get something done soon. So that bill, the so-called HEROES Act, um, cleared the House on Friday. Also on Friday, the House approved a change to its rules to allow proxy voting. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and kind of where your stance on that is moving forward? Sure. You know, I think, you know, for many of us, uh, the concern is when you're all across the country, you can't really function in the same ways if you don't have some procedures set up to let us do that. And uh, that goes everywhere from having committees do virtual hearings so that we're all talking to each other, having witnesses, making it available to the public, uh, having the ability to vote in Congress. Um, you know, clearly, D.C. is still a hot spot. Their, uh, their mayor just extended their uh, order till June 8th. And the attending physician for the House has said uh, it's not safe yet to have your staff in. If you've ever been to a legislative office, uh, in one room there's probably six or eight staff in some cases. And uh, it can be very, uh, I always like to say it's COVID-friendly in that you can get COVID in that situation. And we've had a number of employees and construction workers on the House side get COVID already. Uh, so, you know, we really needed to do something. What we did is we allowed ourselves to be able to vote. Uh, remotely via proxy vote, and we set up uh, more procedures to have committees get back to the oversight that Congress has to do, um, but that we can still do remotely and safely. Uh, we'll come back when we need to, but that doesn't mean we have to be there and put you know, really the thousands of people that are involved in working at the Capitol and the related industries at risk in order to do so. So switching gears real quick to the presidential race, Former Vice President Joe Biden is here in Wisconsin, virtually at least, today doing a uh, virtual roundtable with your colleague, uh, U.S. Congressman Ron Kind. And 
I want to ask in terms of how you see the Biden campaign shifting, I guess, to be more accommodating, I suppose, to more progressive voices. Obviously, you were a pretty early backer of Senator Bernie Sanders, but you were also among a group of the Congressional Progressive Caucus that endorsed Biden last month. So how, how have you seen his campaign shift at all? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm on a call with the vice president uh, today as well. Um, and then also uh, Thursday night, uh, their senior campaign management folks are on a call with about 10 of us from the Progressive Caucus. Um, who had backed uh, other candidates or didn't endorse, um, all trying to, you know, reach out and work with us. You know, I, I think one of the best ways to, to do that is really by having a strong uh, choice for the vice president. Um, you know, my choice, of course, uh, is Stanley Baldwin. Um, you need to win the state of Wisconsin. He's extremely popular here. She won by 11 points when other people statewide won by one point. Uh, she's um, brilliant. Uh passionate, uh, very effective senator, and uh, would be an effective campaigner. And I think, uh, you know, she would be awesome. I think Elizabeth Warren would be great. And there's other folks as well. Um, but we want to, if you have a good uh, vice presidential nominee who can campaign in some ways and areas that you can't, uh, that's what makes the ticket stronger. And certainly winning Wisconsin uh, is a must win. Uh, Stanley Baldwin, I think, would make it an absolute win. Um, but I think, you know, other people can serve that purpose, uh, but we want to make sure that we're heard as the vice president is looking uh, and moving forward. Then last, I just wanted to open it up to you to anything you might be working on that we haven't quite heard about or hasn't been covered quite as much, anything you might want to put out there. Um, you know, just really, I think, you know, most of my day, it, well, I get split between two main things. One, um, you know, trying to move federal legislation forward to deal with uh, the, the crisis. And, and the second um, is a really uh, all too often dealing with uh, things that probably aren't in my job description, but making sure we're getting testing capacity up in Wisconsin, uh, making sure that we're getting it, uh, more people proactively uh, tested, making sure that FEMA is getting us equipment and PPEs that we need. Um, often, uh, you know, I feel like I'm a facilitator, but that's fine. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, 95% uh, of my day is probably, you know, committed to dealing with COVID-19, as is, I think, it for most people. And uh, we're just trying to make sure that people in Wisconsin are in a better place, they're healthier, and that uh, we can deal with this issue both nationally and uh, right here in Wisconsin. All right. That was U.S. Representative Mark Pocan. Congressman, thank you so much for joining me. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. And you can see more coverage of the Wisconsin congressional delegation at wispolitics.com.